what's going on everybody it's your boy justin norm i'm right here because you are having an issue and i have the same issue where i'm trying to open a project and the project decides to crash now what i'm getting ready to offer you is some steps to help you troubleshoot what might be happening it might fix the issue for you and it may not so let me throw that disclaimer out there but this is what I would do if you're experiencing crashes. So I'm in Cakewalk right now, and this is what's going on. I have an existing project right now, it's in my recent, and I play with this so many times last night and today, but this is the original project, all right? If you want to open a project that normally doesn't open, now this doesn't happen for every project, it only happens for this one project. Every time I open it, it closes. I'm not gonna show you exactly what happens because it takes a little while to get Cakewalk back up and running. So, but I wanna start you with the first step that I would do. If you notice that happening, just restart your computer, all right? Make sure that you have everything set up correctly. Make sure you have the right drivers for your audio interface. Make sure that Cakewalk is updated to the latest version and or any doll that you use for that matter and make sure that you don't have a lot of memory being used in the background so a lot of programs being open and things like that i would start there what you're gonna do next is go back to your project once you have cakewalk back up and you're gonna press shift on your keyboard and then what you're gonna do is click on whatever file you're trying to open in this case i'm trying to open the project that's called new groove july all right it's gonna pop up with this message i'm gonna assume that one of the issues that i'm having is that one of these plugins is causing cakewalk to shut down so what i want to do is disable them all right now so i'm going to say no to all all right now you could go through each one and say no and see if it helps but i'm going to do no to all Notice the project came up. It didn't shut down or anything like that. I'm able to play it. Everybody wants to do. Okay. I have many data here, but I don't hear any of that because I disabled all of the instruments that I was using. All of them are disabled right now, which is fine because at least I still have my data. I didn't lose any information. So if you want to go about trying to say, hey, let me go through each one and replace the instruments. So I might replace the synth. And if I want that decent sampler, I might put it back on there. Or if I say, hey, maybe it is a decent sampler causing issues, I might switch it to another sound or switch it to another source. Another option that I probably would do is I'm going to go up to edit preferences. And I'm going to change the way that my VSTs scanned. OK, so VST settings. And then I'm going to go to where it says automatic background scan under the scan options. I'm going to set to manual scan. All right. Okay. And then I can press apply. And what this should do is disable it from scanning right in the beginning when you get ready to open the project up. You might see your screen go black. I'm sorry about that. Task manager. And on task manager, what you want to do is look at cakewalk. What it does, it closes it, but it might not be all the way closed. So to quickly do it, I would just go ahead and end task. You might have to press it a few times. Okay. Press it a few times and then I'll wait a moment and then I'll open it back up. You all, I was messing and messing and messing with this thing. So I don't know if this is helpful or not, but I wanted to make this video to show you how, and it's not just Cakewalk. It can be any doll. There's always going to be some issues with whatever doll you have. And I'm saddened that some of you all have to experience this so much. Now, this project that I'm trying to open up, I was able to get it open once I decided to save it as a different project. So, which is what I advise you to do. Save it as a different project under a different folder, title it different, etc. 
and then you should be able to open it up again I find that it's easiest to open it up when you do a reset so just reset your computer and then once you reset the computer then you should be good to go this effing sucks I don't really cuss on this channel but if you're a person and you're dealing with this I feel your pain so let me know in the comments if this was helpful maybe it's something that you can check out yourself so if you continue to have issues like this i would say reach out to cakewalk um you can find like the information on their website how to get in contact with them uh, maybe do a support ticket or something like that hopefully they respond to you <laughs> but once again this cakewalk like I said, it can be the VSTs that you're using. It can be third-party plugins. It could be a plugin that's not loading correctly. It can be uh, an issue with your drivers. It can be a bug that's in the software itself. It could be just that project itself where, you know, maybe you saved it, but when you saved it, something happened. Maybe Cakewalk closed down when you were saving it. Uh, it could be a numerous of different things. So they should be able to help you. I'm trying to help as much as I can. If I find out more information about how to fix this problem in the future, then I definitely will make more videos about that. Just um, bear with Cakewalk. It is a wonderful software and this does not happen often. Okay. Like I said, it's only happening on one project. But what I was able to do was actually, you know, I was able to bring it back up and I showed you how to do that. Press that shift and it allows you to open it back up. So if this video was helpful to you, definitely like it. And if it wasn't helpful to you, definitely let me know in the comments below. Say, hey, this didn't help at all. I still was having the same issue. As you can see, this is not one of those videos where I'm telling you, hey, you magically gonna fix it if you do this. This is one of those things that you're gonna keep struggling with. So I'm gonna keep searching, try to figure out exactly what it is and why it keeps doing what it does.